But our goal for today is to let go of some of those money barriers that might be holding your business back, right? So I want to talk about a myth that is one of my serious pet peeves. Probably one of my biggest. In all the years that I've been coaching and working with other creative business owners, this one makes me crazy. And the myth is that the internet is a golden ticket that lets you build a successful business for free, right? Who's thought that at one point? Like, I'm running an online business, I don't really have to spend money, right? Even if you're not thinking that so broadly, you've probably thought it in a smaller area, right? I don't have to pay for marketing because all those social media platforms are free, right? Who's thought that? I see a lot, I see some nods in our audience, right? I don't have to, you know, I shouldn't have to pay for that, right? We all get annoyed when suddenly a service we've been using changes their pricing model, right? You're like, well, that used to be free. Because we've got this myth that it's just easy to pop a business up out of nowhere, and then the world is going to come to us, right? And we think they're going to come to us not only without us spending any money, but like without any work, right? Here it is, I'm here, and the world's just going to find me. This is not an if you build it, they will come scenario, right? <laughs> but the internet tends to perpetuate that myth. And then I think it also creates this really unrealistic expectation of what it costs to build a successful business. And it also limits us from taking advantage of maybe some of our best fit markets because we see people growing successful businesses on the internet and we think we should too, even if that's not your strength, it's not your skill set. You know, we talked about a couple of people in this group who are really better off getting out there in person. You know, Lisa, you who mentioned that you cannot get that online connection thing, right? It doesn't work for you. And it doesn't have to work for you. There's still a great big world out there outside the internet. And there's a lot of opportunity for people who are willing to take advantage of that. We even talked about that with you, Rochelle. You know, we kind of had been talking about the different ways you could sell online, and then suddenly you said, but I want to connect with people in person. Mm -hmm. And so for you, right, that might be the stumbling block in your business as you've been so focused on trying to build it online and that might not be the right method. Right. Now, I'm not saying that you can ignore the internet. You can't, right? But that doesn't mean that it has to be the whole piece of your business. And it also doesn't mean that you can build your business for free. I don't care if your business is all online. You're not building it for free. So here's the thing. You can build a successful business by bootstrapping. Bootstrapping means you don't take on debt, you don't borrow money, you use the business to fund the business. It is possible to build a successful business by bootstrapping. You can't build a successful business by never investing in the things that help you grow. You have to be willing to invest in the things that grow your business in order to get where you want to go. And investing in those things may look different for everyone. You may decide that you want a slow growth model that you want to just bootstrap, that you want to just earn the revenue and move forward. But sometimes you might also encounter an opportunity that requires you to not bootstrap, right? That requires you to take on a little debt, to get some outside funding. And that's OK, too. And what I want to do over the next couple of lessons is get comfortable with all of these ideas and then talk about those financing options. Because if your goal is to grow quickly, I don't want a lack of capital to be the thing that stands in your way. If you want to do three trade shows this year, I want to talk about how we make that happen, right? So that's what we're going to talk about here. The other reality is that this is rarely a high profit margin business. We talked about this in a previous lesson, right? Depending on what you make, depending on what your materials cost, what your labor is, some of us are going to have higher profit margins than others. But it's not one of those things where you can just kind of create a million dollars out of thin air without spending a decent amount of capital to get there. And so you have to get comfortable with that, too. This idea that the number that you want to get to may require spending a lot more money than you've previously been comfortable with, right? And this is hard for a lot of people. A lot of people who come into maker businesses have that kind of DIY mindset, and you don't want to spend tons of money. And I'm not telling you you have to spend tons of money, but what I'm telling you is that you may have to spend more than you initially realized. 
because a lot of people underestimate their business expenses, especially in the early stages, and especially if you have a big jump from your current revenue to your revenue goal, right? So if you want $100,000 in sales, you may have to spend, and this is annually, so if you want $100,000 in sales annually, you may have to spend 50, 60, 70, 80K to get there, depending on how your business is set up. So if you want 100K in profit, or even if you want to be able to pay yourself 100K for the year, you may have to make two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year or more to get you there. And I know we're starting to talk about some pretty big numbers, right? <laughs> and your numbers don't have to look like this. You ha may have very different goals and they are all super valid. But you're all here to make a living selling what you make, right? And so even if your goal is to only pay yourself 20, 30, 40K a year, you may have to get pretty close to that six-figure sales mark to make that happen, right? It's totally doable. I want everyone to know it's totally doable. Everyone's starting to look a little nervous, right? It's totally doable, but we have to prepare for it, right? We have to prepare for it. We have to plan for it. We have to be ready for that. 